welcome back to my channel. So I know this might be a little bit strange because it's Thursday and you're like, why is there a video going up on Thursday? Actually for me, it's Tuesday, February 7th. But by the time you guys see this video, it will be Thursday, February 9th. And that is because I am officially changing my upload schedule. So things have gotten a little bit crazy for me, especially, you know, things are going to get crazy for me over the next couple of months. And I have a lot of things happening on Tuesdays. And so I realized that having my vlogs go up Saturday night or Sundays, and then having my writing videos go up on Tuesdays wasn't exactly the best schedule for me. So I ran a poll on Twitter and I also posted a picture on Instagram. I'll leave it right here somewhere so you guys can see it. An overwhelming majority of you said to start uploading my writing advice videos on Mondays. Someone did point out that since I post my vlogs on Sundays and writing advice videos on Mondays, it's kind of a double whammy and that, you know, that's fine, not a big deal, but I realized that's a lot of editing that I would have to do back to back and I realized that's not really going to relieve the stress. So instead of posting my vlogs on Sundays and my writing advice videos on Tuesdays, I'm going to try a new schedule where I post my writing advice videos on Mondays and my vlogs on Thursdays. So my new schedule is going to be videos on Mondays and Thursdays. And the reasoning behind this is honestly so that I have more time and more options to put together a vlog. Right now when I'm vlogging, I'm having to either vlog on Friday, which is difficult, or I'm having to vlog on Saturday, which is also difficult, and also edit Saturday so that I can get it up by Sunday. So it's just, it's too much in a short time period. So I figured, well, I could vlog on a Saturday or a Sunday or even during a work day and still have enough time to edit it and upload by Thursday. So this is just something that's going to work better for me in terms of my schedule. We'll try it out, we'll see how it goes, we'll see if you guys like it, and if it doesn't work, you know, then we'll go back to a Sunday, Tuesday schedule, but I'm really thinking that Monday, Thursday is going to be a nice combination. You'll get a double dose during the week. Weekend will be a great time to just relax. I can prep for my new videos the upcoming week and I think it's just going to be a better schedule. So I hope you guys are okay with that. And like I said, it is Tuesday, so I do have to go to work. I have a busy day and figured I would go ahead and make this announcement and also just vlog my day. That's the other thing, you guys have only been seeing my weekend vlogs and what I do on the weekends. And I actually don't do that much on the weekends, but I do a lot during the weekdays. So I figured this was a great opportunity to show you what a weekday looks like. It's 70 degrees outside, which is ridiculous because I should be wearing tights and jackets and coats, but instead I'm having to shave my legs and wear a dress because it's 70 and it's humid outside. Also, here are the flowers I bought myself yesterday. See, I'm not lying when I say I buy myself flowers every day or maybe every three days. I'm currently on my way to work. It is eight o'clock, which is a little bit later than I normally leave, but that's because I do have a junior league meeting tonight, and I normally have them Tuesday nights at 7 p.m., so it's kind of silly for me to turn around at 4.30 or five o'clock when the day ends to drive home because I would just have to turn back around and drive to the woodlands for the meetings. So I end up going into work later around nine or 9.30, stay until six or 6.30, and then drive to my meeting at seven o'clock. So that is why I'm heading to work a little bit later today. There seems to be some traffic getting out of our neighborhood, which is not good. Before I go to work though, I am heading to the post office to drop off two signed copies of books that some of you guys ordered. So I am gonna do that and then I am going to head to work. love the post office over here because it has that self-service machine so even if you don't want to stand in line or if the post office isn't open you can still print your labels 
and then ship your packages instead of having to wait in line and have them do it for you. So I love going to that one. I'm actually signed up for something called stamps.com that I heard about on NPR radio because I do ship so many things and a lot of the time I just like to stick it in my mailbox and call it a day. But when I have multiple packages, it's nice to be able to go to that post office, have all of my labels and ship, you know, all my shipping labels printed out and then just throw them in that bin and then they're all shipped that same day. So really nice. I'm at Starbucks right now, which is why you see I'm kind of moving very slowly because I'm in line. I've been really into this place nearby called Pure Healthy Eatery, and they have these amazing, amazing smoothies, but their blender has been broken for almost a week, so that's been really sad for me. So I've kind of been using Starbucks as my, kind of my go-to. Just been getting green tea, you know, ice green teas and yogurt, sometimes a bagel. It just kind of depends on what I'm in the mood for. And since I have a meeting at 11 today, which is normally when I go on my lunch break, I'm gonna get a bagel because I'm hungry and I probably won't be able to eat until 12.30 or one. So we're doing a bagel today. Thanks for choosing Starbucks. How can we help you today? Hi there, I would like a venti iced green tea. Okay, with, anything else? Uh, with three pumps of classic. Yeah, that's anything else? And then also a plain bagel toasted with cream cheese. Right. Anything else? That's it. We'll see you at the window. Thanks. Thank you. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. There we go. Thank you. Thank you very much. Three pumps classic. Great. Great, thank you so much. You too. Now that I finished eating that bagel, look, my lips look so naked, I can put my lipstick on. Ah, much better. I get asked this a lot as to what lipstick I wear all the time. This is my go-to, it's Kat Von D and it's called Lolita. One of my favorite, favorite lipsticks. I feel like I wear it pretty much every single day. As you can see, I've got double screens open, so I'm going to get to work. Before I get my day started, I wanted to show you guys something real quickly to prove that I'm not lying when I say things have been a little bit busy. This is what my January looked like on a week by week basis. And you can see all the different highlights, all the stuff I have written down. It's literally been every single week I've had stuff going on. So February, this was last week. And this is this week so far. I haven't filled out the rest of it because that's what I'm planning on doing today. It is time for me to choose a quote. I got this from Target and I absolutely love it. So the last quote I had was, follow what you love and it will take you where you want to go by Natalie Goldberg. So I'm going to pick out a new quote right now. I'm gonna go with this one today because it just resonates with me and especially with how busy things are going to be and how long this day is gonna be. It says you have within you right now everything you need to deal with whatever the world can throw at you. And that's by Brian Tracy. So that is my quote for today. It is 11.30 now. I just got to Market Street because I'm going to get some Chipotle for lunch. All right, so I'm back in my car. Normally on days like this where I'm working, I will take my laptop with me for my lunch break for about an hour or so, and I will go to Starbucks or Barnes & Noble or just somewhere where I can get some writing in, but I've literally been in back-to-back -back meetings all morning, so I just wanted to have a quick lunch break away from the office. I have a lot of things I need to do and I need to prepare for another meeting at 1.45. It's noon right now, so I really wasn't gone for that long. But for now, I need to get back to the office and prepare for this next meeting. Okay, so I may have lied a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to Whole Foods real quick, but actually 
this is right next to my office. So I'm gonna go into Whole Foods and see if I can find some sort of organic, fresh processed, maybe like juice or some type of smoothie. Just not something that's packed with sugar because I want it to be as natural as possible. And Whole Foods is obviously the perfect, perfect place to do that. So I'm gonna do that real quick and then it's back to the office. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it says it's 87 degrees outside. I think it's just because my car is in the sun, but still, holy moly. Okay, I got this Suja, 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 well, I don't even know how to say it. Water, light your fire. It's organic and cold pressured. Strawberry, raspberry, lemon, honey, tart cherry, stevia, and cayenne pepper. And it's just a fruit juice drink. It's supposed to shake well. All right, Whole Foods, this was $6, and I can normally get my pure organic smoothie for about four bucks, so let's see if this lives up to a $6 water, essentially. <laughs> okay, that's really good. That's really good. I think I need to shake it a little bit longer. So I was trying to find somewhere outside where I could sit down and talk to you guys, but I just feel like there's people everywhere, and so I get distracted really easily just looking around people watching. So I figured the best way to do this would be to just stay in my car where it's quiet and there's air conditioning since it's, you know, 85 degrees outside. But one of the things I wanted to talk about specifically in this vlog was how over the last week I've really completely shifted my mindset. So I'm sure if you guys saw some of my tweets from last week, I just wasn't feeling very motivated. I wasn't feeling very inspired. It was hard to get out of bed in the morning. I just I just didn't care. I didn't really care about anything for a full week. And sometimes I kind of fall into these slumps. I think it's normal when you're go, 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 and then you're just so tired and so exhausted that you're just like, why am I even doing all of this? What is the point? You know, why, why do I even care? So a big part of that was work was really draining me. It was draining me of a lot of my energy, so I wasn't able to have the time to write and do stuff for YouTube and journal and read and do all of the things that really fulfill me and make my heart and my soul happy. So I realized that I was feeling this way because I was allowing myself to feel this way. And this is kind of the sort of moment when you really think about it. It was a quote that Eleanor Roosevelt said, and I know I've said it in another vlog, which is no one can make you feel inferior without your consent. Well, the same is true when it comes to your mindset. You are feeling a certain way because that is the mindset that you've put yourself in. So last week, I really, I just, I didn't want to go to work. I didn't want to be in the office. I, I just felt restless and tired at the same time. I was just in a very weird headspace. And so I really worked this past weekend to completely shift my mindset, to get motivated and inspired again, to shift it to a point where I was in a positive headspace. It took a conscious effort for me to physically shift my mindset to a space of a negative, I don't wanna do this, I don't feel like doing this, why do I care to i uh, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna make the most of it. I'm gonna use the most of each minute of each day, even if I'm in a situation that I don't wanna be in. So I've made it my mission this week to go to places. Like I work in a beautiful city, so I'm gonna go to places within the woodlands like Market Street, go to the mall, go to Barnes and Noble, just go places on my lunch break when I have the time to kind of immerse myself in different surroundings. Because when you think to yourself, oh, well, I'd rather be at home, that's fine. Sometimes we need to be at home. But if I already work in a city that has so much to offer and so many things to go see and so much kind of like culture and just stuff to immerse myself in and surround myself with, then why not take advantage of that? I feel like I've done a really good job this week so far of getting out of the office on my lunch break, going somewhere that makes me happy, where I can read or write or do something that is fulfilling for me. And it's really been all about just a shift in my mindset. I had to shift my way of thinking in order to get out of that negative space and to get into this more positive space. And it's not an easy thing to do. It did take a couple of days to really get into it. But now that I'm here, I'm like, 
what was I doing before? Like, why was I in such a negative headspace? Why didn't I want to go anywhere? Why didn't I feel like doing anything? And it could have just been because I was tired, but I think most of it was because I was uninspired and I was bored. So if you're feeling that same way, I would say to do something outside of your comfort zone. Go somewhere you've never gone before. Go eat at a restaurant that you've never eaten at. It can be something super small. Or if you travel for work, then go outside of your normal you know, travel routine and go to a different city. Drive up to the mountains if you're you know, in Canada or something. I mean, there's so many different things that we can do to kind of get ourselves out of our daily routine. And I find that having routine is good but when you get so stuck in it and so used to the day to day, everything starts to seem boring, it starts to seem bland and it loses its color and it's not vibrant anymore and life should be vibrant and fulfilling and each day should be a new adventure where you go do something new, you try something new, you put yourself in a different situation than maybe you wouldn't have. So that's my two cents for this vlog, just shifting your mindset, shifting your perspective because it is really crazy how your mind actually controls your life and your day to day. Like what you think is your reality. So if you're thinking negative, then you're gonna have a negative reality. But if you're thinking positive and you're happy, then your reality is going to be positive and happy. Anyways, it is five o'clock right now. I'm actually just now leaving work. I have changed into more comfortable workout clothes, but actually one of my coworkers offered to go to happy hours so I didn't have to, you know, sit in the office for another two hours until this junior league meeting. And I actually am really hungry, so it works out perfectly. So we're gonna go to a restaurant in the woodlands called Crisp and get some pizza type things and flatbread and some wine and they have a happy hour going on so it should be good. Okay, it is now seven o'clock and obviously it's dark outside. I'm in a little bit of a food coma and I just pulled into the Junior League parking lot for, you know, where our headquarters is. So I'm about to go inside and, you know, get this meeting over with. It should be like an hour and a half long. So I'm not going to get home until 9, but yeah, that's what we're doing right now. I'm going to go in, crush this meeting, and then drive a lovely 45 minutes home. Hi! What's up? Say hello. 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 Okay, so I'm home now. It's 9.20. I am tired. I am <laughs> exhausted. Absolutely exhausted. It was just such a long day. But even so, you guys didn't see this, I was still able to edit two chapters of restitution. And I was actually even able to make the banner design for BookCon for the banner, you know, the vertical banner that's gonna be behind me saying this is my booth and blah, blah, blah. Even with a whole work day and going to a happy hour and then going to a junior league meeting and not getting home until 9.20, I was still able to get everything that I needed to get done, done, as well as edit a little bit and do some authorly writing things. So it's all about making time and it's all about time management. But I am gonna close out this vlog here. Don't don't forget my new upload schedule is Mondays and Thursdays so Mondays will be writing advice videos and Thursdays will be my vlogs so we'll see how this goes we'll see how you guys like it how I like it so make sure to leave some comments below and let me know but I will see you guys in the next one and I hope you have a wonderful evening bye